All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Okay, so we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Hanged Man in the Reverse, Piscean Energy. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. So we have the Six of Swords in the Reverse, and we have the Star, Aquarian Energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, Virgo, Energy. We have the Devil, Capricorn, Energy. And we have the Eight of Swords. Under the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. All right, so Sag, this could be in the recent past, coming into the near future. Uh, you know, time is not linear, so take it as it resonates, okay? So what we have here, Sag, with the High Priestess and the Hanged Man in the reverse, your intuition is speaking to you. You have a deep knowing about something here. There's no reason to wait anymore because there's already a sense of I know. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, I feel like you're putting work into something here, uh, maybe buying a house maybe uh getting engaged to get married it's like someone just knows this is the one it's time for me to settle down this is where i want to be okay now with the six of swords in the reverse and the ten of pentacles in the reverse there's a sense of going backwards here sag Okay. It's like, it's like in the past, it's like, the, the, like, this was the one I'm going to move forward. This is what I wanted. And now it's like, I, I don't know why, but you're going backwards here. It's like the relationship started, we're hubby, wifey, we're going to be together. And now the more it progresses, the, ma the more it's going backwards. You still have hope and you still have faith that things are going to work out in this connection, but it's like you're going back to, to toxicity. We're going back to, with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and, and the Emperor in the reverse, we're going back into this energy of uh, not being committed, not wanting commitment, not wanting any of this. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I, I don't know why we're returning to this. Why, why are we returning to this energy here of... But there's still hope. It's like there's a sense of there's still hope that this is going to work out. <coughs> Five of Pentacles, the Devil, the Hermit, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like someone is very in their head, Sag. Someone needs to release this devil. Someone needs to, someone here is very in their head with the Hermit Virgo energy, the Eight of Swords. Someone here, I don't know, they, they, something got caught in someone's mind and it's like a bad seed started growing in someone's mind and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, I'm not really seeing that there's a problem here. What I'm seeing is that someone is, is, is thinking all of these toxic thoughts and they're becoming more and more distant, more to themselves. They still want this connection, but it's like all of a sudden someone started thinking, well, what if we don't end up together? What if we don't live happily ever after? What if it doesn't work out? It's a very strong, almost Virgo energy. I don't know if you have Virgo in your chart, but I feel like someone's all types of stuck in their head and, and, and for no reason. And for no reason. Look, you see the high priestess and, and the hierophant, Taurus energy. Someone here knows. They just know that this is the person they're going to marry. Hanged man in the reverse with the three of pentacles in the reverse. Um, I feel like maybe things were not 
working because someone was in shore for a minute and then they let themselves go they let themselves believe and everything started working out like someone here was a little stagnant maybe they were unsure but then they were like you know what i'm done let's do this let's work it out do you see what i'm saying so someone here maybe didn't want to work as a teammate they didn't want to build something solid and now we're going back to this you see what i'm saying eight of pentacles the high priestess in the reverse cancer piscean energy and the four, ooh, the four of wands on top of the three of wands. So it's like, okay, <clears throat> the connection started. Okay, someone's intuition said, okay, I know this is the one. My higher self is telling me this is the one. But someone here didn't want to work on the connection, maybe out of fear, maybe because they were unsure, right? Then they started working on the connection and they stopped listening to their higher self. Do you understand what I'm saying? They stopped listening to their higher self. They were trying to work on the connection and then they stopped. Now we've got the four of wands and the three of wands. So someone here wants a relationship. They want commitment. They want, they have hope. They want this, but they give in to fear. Someone here gives in to fear. They don't listen to their higher self. Six of swords in the reverse and the ace of pentacles. There's this beautiful, prosperous new beginning that's about to happen, but someone here just turn tails and runs back to fear. Tell me about the ten of pentacles in the reverse, the knight of wands in the reverse. It's like someone here is losing passion. They don't want to pursue the connection because they're like, eh, nothing's ever going to happen here. Tell me about the star card and the two of wands. Yet then again, with the two of wands in the reverse and the star card, this person only wants this connection. They're like, this is my wish fulfillment. This is my happily ever after. This is all I want, but I'm afraid to enjoy it. I'm afraid to enjoy this relationship. Let me go back to fear where I'm nice and comfortable. Yeah, see, someone here has it stuck in their head that someone's cheating. Someone here has it stuck in their head that someone's lying. Someone has it stuck in their head that they're being taken advantage of. It's like, it, but it's all in the headspace. It's all in the headspace. It's not really happening. Tell me about the emperor in the reverse. We've got the world card. Someone here needs to close out this behavioral pattern. The emperor in the reverse does not have control over his emotions, doesn't have control of his world. You know, the emperor in the reverse can be someone very um, uh, emotionally manipulative, prone to outbursts, someone a little violent, someone here that wants to be very jealous, controlling, you know, um, and with the world card, this needs to end. This is someone who just has no control, no control. Um, they get very upset. They just, they, they're, they're not in control of their emotions, their surroundings. They're just not, and then that needs to stop. Five of Pentacles <clears throat> and the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Star card in the reverse. Someone here lives in fear that they're not going to get their wish from the fulfillment, that they're not going to live happily ever after. Tell me about this devil. The Empress in the reverse, that they're never going to have children, that they're never going to get married, that they're never going to have anything. Tell me about the Hermit. And the King of Cups in the reverse. Someone here maybe drinks too much. Or someone here wants to be alone so that they can purge their emotions. Do you see what I'm saying? Like someone here, if they, if they say, no, I'm staying in tonight, it's because they want to stay in bed and just cry and purge their emotions. Tell me about the Eight of, Pent uh, the Eight of Swords. Excuse me. Two of Cups in the reverse and the Hermit. Sag, the more you withdraw from this connection and the more you act this way, it's it's going to fail with the two of cups in the reverse. See, there's a beautiful connection here that was moving towards more peaceful waters with the six of swords. But you see this snake, this snake is, is, is that evil seed that wants to plant itself in your head. And you're just, you're, you're just allowing it to do that because see the six of swords in the reverse here, you were heading towards this beautiful new beginning. And now someone here is backtracking. They're going backwards. No. Yeah. You're going to end up losing the connection if you stay in that type of energy, guys. Two of cups in the reverse. Clarity. Guidance. Love messages for my Sagittarians, please. A time to give rather than take and your commitment is being tested. So you see what's happening here, guys, is this is a time like 
I feel like the advice here is every time you have a bad thought about your person, give the trust, give the loyalty, give the hope, give the faith, speak life into your relationship instead of, uh, instead of taking, like, I, I feel like there's, there's an energy of stop worrying so much about, you know, what's going to come to you give, you know what I'm saying? If you want the relationships to succeed, you have to give it love. You have to water it. You have to plan, uh, you have to speak life to it. Do you see what I'm saying? What actually comes to mind, Sag, is um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It was a high school project and there was two plants. One plant, the kids had to go and speak really nasty to it. And the other one, they were supposed to speak love to it and life to it and compliment it. That plant flourished and the plant that got all the beat, you know, all the, the nasty words and everything died. It was withering away. So look at this relationship the same way, Sag. If you give it love, if you give it love, it will flourish. If you take from it and, and beat it up and, and, and think all these negative thoughts, it's going to die. So you have something really amazing coming to you, but you're being tested. You're being tested. Have confidence, have faith in your dreams. You and your loved ones are safe. So this connection is safe. It's all in your head, but you are being tested. Do you trust the divine enough to just let go and be happy we've got fifth chakra we've got yeah see speak life fifth chakra is communication it's talking appreciation you know when you speak speak life into your connection okay speak life into your connection and into this relationship if you keep putting it down and beating the crap out of it it's going to fail the loving woman and transformation yeah you have the power to change anything that you want to change Sag the more love you bring into this connection the more you're going to see changes in yourself and in the connection itself just bring love into it Sag and it's going to be okay the more death you speak into the connection the more likely it is to end stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance reconciliation and flirt so sag if your connection has come apart because of this or if it has unraveled into this some simple flirting can bring it back together just love your person and it will be okay okay just love them sag that's it all right guys i love you and take care bye